Hello, everyone. Today, I will be recapping a movie called My Teacher, My Obsession. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. At the start of the movie, we see a janitor finishing the cleaning of the floor and preparing to leave. However, he hears a sound and investigates. He discovers a terrified girl sitting on the floor and quickly rushes to get help. Suddenly, another girl bumps into him and urges him to run. Meanwhile, Kyla, who is in charge of taking pictures for the school yearbook, notices their new English teacher, Chris. Her attention is immediately drawn to him. Trisha, a popular girl at school, also notices Chris and believes she can seduce him within two days. After the class, Trisha wastes no time and begins flirting with Chris. On the other hand, Kyla goes to her usual hangout spot and finds Riley there. She introduces herself to Riley and reveals that Chris is her father. As they become friends, Kyla asks Riley if she can come over to her house for a study session, seeing it as an opportunity to be close to Chris. Later, we see Kyla becoming more interested in Chris and taking more pictures of him. When she returns home, she finds her mother getting ready for a date and notices her new dress. That night, Kyla dreams about Chris and pleasures herself. The next day, Kyla goes to Riley's house and wastes no time in asking her questions about her father. Riley reveals that her mother cheated on Chris, leading to a divorce and their move to a new place. Kyla also opens up about her own father, who left her when she was only six. Meanwhile, Trisha continues her attempts to charm Chris at school, flirting with him. However, Chris, being old-fashioned, doesn't catch her hints. After class, Trisha befriends Riley, and Kyla sees them together, feeling jealous. Kyla warns Riley that Trisha is dangerous and obsessed with Chris, explaining Trisha's history of getting involved with teachers, including sleeping with a history teacher the previous year, resulting in his replacement for a whole year. Later that day, Kyla calls Riley and discovers that Riley will soon turn 18. Kyla suggests hosting a birthday party at her house and promises to assist in gathering as many visitors as possible. The conversation then shifts to Chris, and Kyla inquires about his dating history. She discovers that Chris is dating someone who turns out to be her own mother. Jealous of their flirting, she ruins their date, and Chris is forced to spend the night with them due to his clothes getting dirty. During dinner, Kyla, unable to bear watching her mother and Chris flirt, goes back to her room, knowing they are going to make out. To ruin their intimate moment, Kyla lies, claiming that someone was peeping at her while she was changing in her room, acting scared. She wants to be with her mother and Chris so that they don't engage in sexual activity. From Chris, she learns that Riley is hanging out with Trisha. The next morning, Chris offers to take Kyla to school since he is also heading there. While waiting for Riley, Kyla flirts with Chris and asserts that she is now grown up and can do anything she wants in life. During their conversation, Riley joins them and they all leave for school. At school, Kyla confronts Riley about her association with Trisha, despite Kyla's warning that Trisha is using her to get to her father. However, Riley tells her that Trisha claimed it wasn't her who slept with their history teacher, but Kyla herself. Kyla denies the accusation and behaves rudely towards Riley, forcing her to leave. Later, Kyla confronts Trisha and threatens her to stay away from Riley, but Trisha is unfazed by her and refuses to back down. That night, Kyla takes private pictures of herself in different poses. Next day, when she opens her locker, she finds it filled with the pictures she took the night before. She goes straight to Chris, who assures her that he will find the person responsible for this. Riley sees them and leaves them alone. After that, Kyla and Riley apologize to each other. Kyla also reveals that it was her who slept with the history teacher, claiming that she was being manipulated. Now we see Kyla's mother getting ready to meet Chris. Kyla checks Chris's phone when he is in the toilet and discovers private messages from Trisha. After reading the messages, Kyla's mother accuses Chris of using his students. Chris is then dumped by her mother, who asks him to leave. On the other hand, Kyla is enjoying the situation because her mother is finally out of her way. She heads over to Chris, who is sitting in his truck, wondering what really happened. Kyla enters and begins to seduce Chris. She succeeds in seducing him and they passionately kiss. Chris cannot resist her anymore, and they engage in a sexual encounter. Kyla finally got what she wanted, and she is very happy. However, it is then revealed that it was Kyla who sent those messages to Chris, pretending to be Trisha. The next day at school, Chris is completely lost in class. Trisha is still trying to flirt with Chris, but Kyla interrupts her. 
Meanwhile, the police arrive at the class and take Trisha away. They find the phone used to text Chris and the pictures of Kyla from the locker. At night, Kyla goes to Riley's party and gives her some presents. She then goes straight to Chris's room and starts seducing him. Chris is still trying to resist, but eventually gives in and they start making love. As they are about to have sex, Riley walks in and sees them together. She is disgusted by the scene and runs away. Chris tries to stop her, but it is too late. Chris decides to go after her, but is stopped by Kyla, who lies to him that Riley is addicted to alcohol. He ignores her and heads out to find Riley. The next morning, Riley tells Kyla's mother about everything that happened the previous night. At school, Chris tries to talk with Riley, but she isn't in the mood. After class, Kyla's mother confronts Chris and slaps him. She takes Kyla away and leaves. Kyla tells her mother that she is of legal age and can love anyone she wants. She even claims that she and Chris are in love. Riley confronts Chris and wants to know why he did it. Chris apologizes to Riley for everything and tells her that he will not see Kyla anymore. Riley finally forgives him. Kyla calls Trisha and asks to meet her before school. When Trisha arrives, Kyla tries to frame her and starts hitting herself. She even breaks her fingers to frame Trisha. As Riley and Chris arrive, Kyla cries for help, claiming that Trisha attacked her. Trisha is then arrested by the police and Kyla goes to the hospital. Riley and Chris go to the hospital, where Riley tells Kyla that her relationship with her father is over. Kyla appears to agree. She then asks Riley to take over her yearbook responsibility for a basketball game that night, as her hand is injured. Riley accepts. Kyla also asks Riley if she can talk to her father for the last time and say goodbye. After Riley leaves, Kyla tells Chris that with Trisha gone, they can finally be together. But Chris denies her, telling her that their relationship is over and that she should leave him alone. Kyla is completely obsessed with Chris and wants to continue their relationship. She declares that she will never leave him and reminds him that he will have to see her every day in class. So Chris decides to quit his job to get away from her and leaves with his belongings from the classroom. Kyla takes a scalpel from the hospital and flees to the school. Kyla confronts Riley and tells her that only one of them can be in Chris's life. She stabs Riley in the stomach and then heads to Chris's class. She holds the scalpel to his throat, telling him they are meant to be together. After that, she reveals that it was she who manipulated the previous teacher, not the other way around. Riley is still alive and tries to get help. Chris manages to push Kyla off of him, but Kyla attacks Chris, who hits his head on the table and loses consciousness. The janitor hears the commotion and finds Kyla, who pretends to be injured and asks him to get help. As the janitor runs to find help, Riley warns him to run, but Kyla kills him. The two get into a fight, with Riley eventually defeating Kyla. Riley and Kyla are both taken away in separate ambulances by the police, but Riley is shocked to learn that Kyla is still alive. Months later, Chris and Riley have moved to a new place, and Chris is ready to start a new job. Riley is excited about her first day of college. However, as Riley is driving off to college, we see a hooded figure emerge from hiding, and we can assume it is Kyla, indicating that she is still obsessively following Chris. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I always love hearing from my viewers, so feel free to leave a comment below with your thoughts on the video or any suggestions for future content. Once again, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.